All right, you guys, so today we're going to talk about Black and Crew. I'm just doing a regular review, not really like, not, just kind of like a, a chit chat actually, not like a review or recap like I usually do. So with Sky, she was all excited that Caesar, he went to go see Puma, not realizing what he did when he went to go see Puma. He freaking ended up fighting the guy. Didn't even give him a chance to talk or anything like that because he just felt like, you know what, when we was at that fashion show, whatever, he didn't give me any chance. All he did was try to put a bottle upside my head. And Walt and them, they were just laughing like it was a joke. But Sky wasn't really feeling that because she's like, at the end of the day, it's kind of looking like it was an ambush or something like that. Well, Kwani, she had left. She went to ATL. Now she just kind of came back up to see Puma and see where he's at. If he's coming down anytime soon, he was supposed to been come down. But he's still, I guess because his business and everything is up here. I mean, not necessarily his business, but he is on the show. And the show is filming right now, so he can't just get up and leave. That's another form of income at the end of the day any way you want to look at it even though we're trying to make this seem like it's a reality this is real things that are happening you're on a show and you're getting paid to be on the show so you can't just get up and leave Duchess and Caesar they talk about the whole prenup situation we want prenup and um, she was saying that she spoke to a lawyer and the lawyer said that since she helped build the thing that she could get half of everything and that She's the one that made everything legal and functioning because it was like some black market type of business that he had running because he ain't had no papers for the place or anything like that. And it could have gotten shut down if it wasn't for her. I feel like this part was confusing to me. I don't know if you guys felt the same way, but the way we saw it, or maybe the way I remember it from season one, didn't she end up like joining the team? Wasn't she not there in the beginning? Or if she was there, they weren't together. The way she's talking is like, oh, I helped do this and I helped do that as though they were together the whole time. But that's not what they portrayed to us and showed us. It was she became his love interest later on. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Donna, she's pregnant, she's having a little baby, but oh yeah, with, um, with Caesar, he was just like, he don't care what anybody says, that's his, and that's just it, that black ink is his. I mean, I don't want to, I, I don't blame him, you worked hard for something, you don't want to give it away, especially if you kind of think that you might do something wrong, and you know that she's a crazy woman, you, you gotta do what you gotta do to protect your assets, and things like that. That's the only thing that he has. That's the only thing that he built from the ground up. So you got to do what you got to do to protect that. That's like protecting your little kid or something. You don't want your kid to get hurt or anything like that. So you're going to do the necessary steps to make sure that your kid stays good. Donna, she's pregnant now with that guy, Max, with the one tooth with his baby. I'm like, oh gosh, these people are doomed. What is wrong with these people? The girl don't even have a job. She just lost a job. And I don't know, she's just not stable right now. But she's like, she's determined to get back in black ink. So that's exactly what she does. She goes, she talks to Caesar. And Caesar, he, he feels sorry for her, I guess, after he found out she was pregnant. He's like, all right. But don't say nothing to me. Don't do that back talk business. You know, that is annoying. I feel like it's because of the way he is as a manager. That's why people kind of take advantage and they say whatever they want to say to him. And then his only way to kind of react, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sick, is that he kind of just goes off and just verbally abuses them. Like, it's crazy. Like, that's like some real hood type of behavior. I couldn't have no manager or no, no, no boss talk to me like that. I can't. Like, I'd rather be my own boss if I have to deal with somebody like that. I don't know. I guess I kind of just got this point in my head where I just, I've gotten to a certain point. I can't accept certain things because I know the way I want to be treated. So, yeah, this dude, Max, he ended up goes, going down on one knee. He proposed to her, dropped the ring on the floor, picked it up, put it on her finger. Beautiful little engagement in the crib. Caesar, he has a photo shoot for his magazine. And there's one girl says she was talking to him a few weeks ago. And Sky's just sitting there like, that sounds seem too right. Oh, what's going on here? And then the other girl, Sophia the Body, which I've seen her before when I used to 
promote models a few years ago. I think she was one of our clients, if I remember correctly. Or if not, she's been to a lot of events where our clients were because we used to have urban models. And so, yeah, Sophia the body, she all got his hand on her booty and they they just look like they had a lot of chemistry. Like that chemistry that you've seen with them taking that photo shoot, it couldn't be faked or forced or phony. He's attracted to her. You can tell. And she's attracted to him by the way she was looking in his eyes. Um, And, and Miss Scott was just looking at it like, hmm, okay, I see what the hell is going on here. And I don't like it. Teddy and Caesar, they talk. They have a little man-to-man -man conversation. And Teddy, I feel like he just kind of poured his whole, like, he put all this weight on Caesar's shoulder. He asked him about the whole thing with North Carolina. And then he says, well, what if you end up going to North Carolina and then closing down the shop? What about me? You know, my brother's in jail, my uncle's in jail, his dad or whoever. A whole bunch of people he names is all in jail. And it's just him left. And he said he would have been there if it wasn't for Black Ink. <clears throat> yes, I understand where he's coming from. It's kind of like how kids get into after school programs and that saves their lives from being out there in the hood and doing bad things. But what I do feel is that you're a grown man now. You have a lot more opportunities. There's a lot of things you could do. Or if he was to give it away, you can always probably buy it or whatever. You have to think like a grown man now. You have to kind of think in the, in the state of mind like a boss. And you have to have a backup plan as well. And I don't think, I feel like he's putting too much weight right now on Caesar's shoulder because they're family. It's like he's relying on him for for everything, you know? Uh, so Sky, she walks in with O, and Caesar kind of makes a joke like, oh, what was y'all two doing? Because he's like, when Sky's drunk, she'll do anybody, and O will just pretty much do anybody regardless. He, don't, he could be sober, drunk, anything. And she kind of was, she makes a little joke, and she's like, yeah. Because he said something about, oh, I see that bond y'all got. And he was like, she said, oh, just like the bond that you got with Sophia the body. And Duchess got all in her feelings. It was like, it was supposed to be a jab at, at Caesar. It ended up passing Caesar on some matrix and ended up getting Duchess. And Duchess, she just, she just started having that face. And I think this guy was drunk because she was just, she just seemed a little too crazy for like no reason and she, she was like she wasn't gonna baby her but then she ended up kind of babying her because she saw that it was really hurting her and that you know if that's supposed to be your friend you don't want your friend to be all crying and hurt because of something that you said not realizing that it would affect them that much but the reason why it affects her so much is because it's personal this chick has been disrespecting their relationship and other than that or beyond that She's also had to deal with him cheating before as well. I don't think it was with her, but just in general. So those types of jokes aren't funny to her. And that was pretty much like the end of it. They, Duchess has some crazy old eyes looking. But yeah, let me go log out drink some tea because my short here is hurting me. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Comment down below. Subscribe. Like this video. Share whatever you like to share videos. I think I said that already. Stay fabulous, live free, and soar limitless. I'll see you in the next one. Laters.